Hi, my name is Kate McMahon. Thanks for joining us today for What's Happening. Really excited to introduce you to our guest. We have Sue Rohrbach, and she is the chair of the Cape Women's Coalition. Hi, Sue. Thanks for being here. Hi, Kate. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm here to talk about an event that we're going to be having. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Cape Women's Coalition and what, what we do. Great. Uh, our mission is to get women on the Cape more involved in civic and public life. And that can mean running for office. It can mean going to town meeting, going to a, being on a town board, or it can just be reading the paper and making sure that you go to town meeting, go to town meeting and that you vote. This year we're really focused on everybody vote. We have, we, we have um, in normal times, we have a monthly round table um, at the Optimist Cafe, and we hope to be back to that at some point. We um, will be, we will be, I'm sure, but. <laughs> sooner rather than later, we hope. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, so for the last few months, we've been having um, virtual round tables about everything. Right. Yeah, I attended uh, last month, which was on school reopening. Yeah, and that was great. That, that, that was really, really well done, I thought. Very interesting and tons of perspectives as we're going into this yeah. back to school time and really not knowing what the future holds. I thought it was a wonderful conversation. Yeah, well, that's what we're trying to, you know, present a different perspectives on the various issues. And we're not, not always on issues. Sometimes we're on things, we can be on things like town finances or how does county government work or, you know. Yeah, great, great yeah. educational subjects yeah. and topics. Yeah, yeah. and urging we're, people to take action on whatever it is that they're interested in. Right. So today um, we're talking about the next virtual event, which is going to be held on October 15th. And the topic and the title is Food Insecurity, the Hidden Epidemic. Um, again, that's October 15th from 9 to 1030, and it will be virtual. And um, I'm hoping you can talk a little bit about um, food insecurity on the Cape before we talk more about the event. Sure. Um, I have I've done a little research. Um, just looking forward to this event. I mean, I knew it was a problem, but I've learned things that just amazed me. Um, did you know that one in six children on the Cape are food insecure? And wow. most of those are school-aged children. Now there are a lot of food programs um, for school-aged children, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what will happen when the kids are not actually going to the school. Right. Um, Barnstable County's food insecurity rates have jumped by 74% since 2018. That's just a staggering number. In Eastern Mass, they were up 59%. So you can see that we have, you know, a pretty big problem. Um, That's amazing. Those are very large numbers. They're very large numbers. About over 13% of Barnesville County residents um, aren't sure how they're going to feed themselves and their family. Just so, very yeah, scary. That, uh, that adds up to over 26,000 people. It's amazing. Yeah. So that's, that's a great reason while it's uh, titled The Hidden Epidemic because I'm sure some of our viewers will be very surprised to hear those numbers as well. So we're gonna have um, uh, the keynote at the event on October 15 is going to be Christine Menard from the Family Pantry of Cape Cod. And she'll be introducing um, the idea of the food insecurity on the Cape. Yeah, she's also the, um, the chair of the Cape Cod Hunger Network, which is um, a Cape wide group that has all that there are a lot, actually a lot of food pantries on the Cape um, and, and other people that deal with 
um, food insecurity. Um, so she's going to talk about the problem and who's affected um, and, and also explore what the various resources are for people on the Cape and how to access, how for people to access them. And then the other thing is that we're going to really try to encourage people to use the resources without any stigma attached because that's a real problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. People are prideful. People are prideful. That's right. And a lot of people are in tough shape right now through no yeah. fault of their own. Right. Um, and we, you know, we don't want anybody to go hungry because they're, they either don't know how to ask or they're afraid to ask. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. And Sue, how can folks sign up to attend this virtual event? Well, the event is going to be on Zoom and it's also going to be um, live streamed on Facebook. So you can sign up either on our website, capewomenscoalition.com, or on our Facebook page, which is Cape Women's Coalition. And the event is free. However, if uh, we are, we'll happily accept $5 donations. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And then once they sign up, you all will send them, if they want to watch it via Zoom, you'll send an email with the actual uh, Zoom meeting ID. Right. How to get how to get onto the Zoom. Yep. That's great. Yep. So um, for people to, to ask questions as well during the Zoom or during, you can't ask questions from Facebook, but you can ask questions from Zoom. Okay. All um, right. That'll be great. And again, this is October 15th from 9 a.m. to 1030. And uh, the topic is food insecurity, the hidden epidemic. Um, sounds like a very worthwhile cause and something all of us should be paying attention to here on the Cape. It certainly is. And we really, really hope that people will join us that day. Yeah. Likewise. So thank you for joining us today. Again, this is Sue Rohrbach, and she is the chair of Cape Women's Coalition. And to learn more about their organization, please go to their website. Tons of ways to get involved, either in a very small way, or if you have more time, in a larger way. So thanks again, Sue. Oh, you're welcome. We'd, we'd love to have people get involved with us at CWC and but we, we really want them to get involved in their community and be out there because we, we need to have um, women in places where they're heard. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, thanks again. It was great seeing you. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Take care.